And welcome back to our playthrough of Fallout 2D20 from Modifius. Uh, this is the last bar in Milwaukee. Uh, and when we last left our Wastelanders, um, Calamity and Keitha had uh, teamed up to help pull uh, a, um, a scientist by the name of Zachary Monk uh, to safety. You get an assist on that. We cut that's my kill. <laughs> we cut back to the um, uh, two vault skis, uh, where you know th things are, are are definitely rocking. Um, mm -hmm. As you know, more people are drinking. Uh, people are getting uh, hyped up by uh, um, the soda jerks' uh, description of the sports ball event. <laughs> um, and we cut to. Um, Rainer, you know, pouring drinks and and serving as best as see as uh, fast and professional as she can, and seated at the bar um, near her is Eugenia. Mm. Um, and Eugenia is about four drinks in at this point. Perfect. Um, have we ever described Eugenia? No, we I haven't. I think we have. So Wrong. I think. So I think she's wearing uh, a like nineteen, you know, that 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 retro nineteen fifty style. I yeah. think she's got um, like I I I I, I want to describe her as kind of pinupy, but like the Avon lady, a little bit like that. Yeah. Um, so but I I know I remember, but for the audience, who is this person? You. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell it to me. Tell it to this mouse in my pocket. Uh, Eugenia was one of the regulars here um, that we first met in episode one. Uh, and uh, we met her uh, better half, Ralph, last mm -hmm. time. Uh, yes. Because they're yep. currently having some mm -hmm. uh, relationship issues, issues. If you will. Yeah. Is, Rob, is Rob correct? Yeah. Sounds, that's exactly what I remember. Yeah. <laughs> you, Eugenia wants to sell fish at Ridgegate. Thanks. And... <laughs> Ralph. Ralph is sad and wants to spend time with Eugenia, but if she sells fish at Ridgegate, he won't see her a lot. That's right. So if we kill her, he's fine. <gasps> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but... <gasps> Keith, you're not here. Man, Ethan, you're working some stuff out today. <laughs> usually, he's just, he, usually he's just quietly devastating, but like, I, mean, I, feel, I feel like he, feel, like, I feel like because Jordan isn't here, he's like, well, somebody's got to murder a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, might as well be me. We're all actively murder hobos right now. Not here. <laughs> to be, I'm not. To be fair, Ethan's been watching a bearded dragon eat. Crickets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so your your bearded dragon spirit is strong <laughs> and flaring up. Um, um, so she puts uh, uh, some more caps on the bar and says, um, uh, give me another Rainer, darling. Eugenia, are you sure you need another? Oh, who am I kidding? You know your limits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what I don't know mm. is... Who is that? And she points to what the, the audience would recognize as the mysterious stranger, who is sitting in the corner of the bar. A with... la Aragorn in Lord of the Rings. Well, so... <laughs> I have... In the prancing pony when you can't see its face. Well, yeah, because the stranger has, their, has a hood up. They've got a scarf. Um, <laughs> like, the best way I can describe... Um, uh, what the what the stranger is wearing is imagine somebody doing a cross cosplay between a Fallout scientist and um, one of the members of the Assassin's Guild from Assassin's Creed. So mm -hmm. it's like a white mm -hmm. jacket um, with like a red scarf and then a hood up. Um, gotcha. That so uh, what I'm getting from this is that it's not the Milverine. No. Damn it. No, sorry. <laughs> when when you run your games, you can or you can convince the Milvery to sponsor us on our yeah. Patreon. He's ah. the massive super mutant like Swan who just wanders the streets <laughs> destroying anything in his path. With his little white dog. Yep. This yeah. mutie pup. Listening to classical music. Um who is he? Um, well, the answer to that question, Eugenia, you see, it's actually quite complicated. Um, 
And um, I don't know if we have enough time to... Uh... Well, okay, you know what? The, the, the drink that I just ordered, mm -hmm. why don't you send it over to him from me? I just need... I wanted to check in really quick before I do that for you, Eugenia. How... What's uh what's what's Ralph up to this fine sports ball eve? Oh, Ralph, he's uh, he's at uh Gate Ridge, you know. He works all the time and we're I don't know. I don't I don't know what we are right now. Well, I mean, I don't mean to like put myself in there um in whatever whatever it is you think you have going on but i just want to let you know that ralph you know he's seems like a good dude <laughs> or whatever is is he the one that's having fish fries well she's the one having yeah. the fish fries okay but, yep mm -hmm. but yes that whole plot line <laughs> yeah he's good but, mm -hmm. but he's boring like all we ever talk about is is is, is work and, and and business. Like, you know, he's not mysterious like 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 that guy is. You know who I should ask? I should ask Keith because I've seen those two talking up on the roof. He mm -hmm. would know. Maybe he can make an introduction. Keith, I I, Keith I, I, Jenny, I haven't seen Keith tonight yet, so I'm sure he'll be around. Why don't I just pour you this drink though, and we'll we'll leave the drink buying of for um. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside, <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave the drink buying for um that guy for later. How about that? Go ahead and give me a, a speech roll here. Speechifying. Your speechifying. Uh, your target here um is how many drinks has she had? Four. <laughs> this will be her fifth. So, uh, I feel like your target here is just going to be one, because, like, as she is four drinks in, she's fairly susceptible to, yeah, you're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you just gotta steer the drunk into... <laughs> is this a posed role? I... No. No, this okay. is just a straight difficulty what, what role. What are you talking about, steering drunk people? <laughs> it's funny, because I do I rolled a 20, but I also got a success. Okay. Hold up! Wait a minute. Uh, with my formal clothing slash hat, I may re-roll a d20 on a charisma-based test each scene. But you're not wearing your hat. This is the different version of my hat. But you're not wearing your hat. Rob, don't be that way. <laughs> don't be a dick. It's literally within her reach. Yeah, but don't be a dick. <laughs> okay, look, now she looks silly. Did you roll I, another 20? No, I knocked this one. This one was a yeah, four. And I rolled a three. So okay. that's really so good. That's also now under my um So you tag. both of them so are under I got your tag? three successes. No, only one of them is under, oh, okay. under so my three tag. Successes. So okay. Three successes. So that means that you have two AP that you can either bank or you can uh, ask uh, more questions of Eugenia if you wish. Mm, of that damaging are... Eugenia. <laughs> I'll bank those. Um okay. I can't think of anything I need to ask her. Okay. Well, I, I thought maybe you could ask her about how she, what she's seen. Um, oh, up on the roof. Yeah. Top. If like, you want like, to. Like, or you can bank them. Uh, but you banked them. Yeah, it's too late. Oh, I'll well. bank one of those. Okay. Um, so, Eugenia, you said you've seen Keith send a... You don't have to keep it on. That I guy? Would... Well, now it's a challenge, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I, you say you no, no, it's gonna be like the rain in speed. Yeah. She's mainly in the plane. Um, you just you told me <laughs> that uh, you've seen Keith and um, that gentleman over there in uh, up on the roof. Mm -hmm. What? Um, tell me, tell me more. Well, yeah, uh, I no, just sometimes when I've gone past or you know I've went looking for the bathroom um uh I I've, I've seen them, them them upstairs talking and and I thought I heard them uh, talking about calamity a couple of times Did you hear any more than that or just you know just uh well I mean I wasn't Did they seem serious or was it like 
you well, know, they, they were idle chit-chat. They were kind of whispering. Mm. Well, as far as Keefa can whisper, I mean. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Keith is not particular. I'm whispering right now. <laughs> He's not particularly no, not subtle. Yeah. This is better. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Here's a, here's a Shotsky on the house from Baltsky. All right, cheers. Meanwhile, at the booth, mm-hmm. um, do you want to do another? Sure. Uh... <laughs> you wrote something down. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, hey everybody, uh, don't forget to get your, your, your foam thumbs, uh, they're really cool, and, uh, you know, they, uh, they're cheaper than the drinks, uh, just so you know. <laughs> um, also- I'm assuming you are, I'm assuming right now you're at, like, halftime or whatever. Yeah. Uh, remember, it's the halftime show, so, uh, we have, did we get the acapella group to perform? No. No. I don't want to set the world oh. on fire. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Rainer. Yeah, Ra- Rainer's got you. She's uh, going to take a break from whatever important... She's not doing anything important. She's going to sing a song for everybody. Uh, while I, uh, you know, take your sales, come buy stuff. Uh, take it away, Rainer. So... We um <laughs> a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> so <laughs> they are standing in um, I really as, wanted to see what you would do. <laughs> and the answer was stare at you. Um so uh you're you're you because it's halftime, you know, this is one of your, your prime merch selling points. Um and uh people are standing in line. Um and uh a person comes up to you and she is wearing a leather jumpsuit. Mm. Who does that? Uh, with, <laughs> with a, with a nightwing style disco call. Oh God. Ooh, nice. That, that is, is leather on the outside and, um, white on the inside. If anybody needs to know what this loop looks like, Google disco wing. Thank <laughs> me later. <laughs> It is essentially a collar that that goes up past her head. Mm-hmm. She gets up to the front of the line, and she says, "Goodbye, uh, gray skies. I'm Sister Tuscadero." Oh, son of a fuck! Yep. Do I know who this is, or do I need to pull an Ethan explain it to the audience? <laughs> <laughs> so you rec- So uh, Sister Tuscadero is a member of uh, the. Uh, Church of Happy Day Saints. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, Sister Truckadero. <laughs> I miss that restaurant. No, uh, Tuscadero. I take I I. Uh, oh, Tuscadero. I take my I take my name from the founder of our order, the Order of the Pinky. <laughs> well, we only sell thumbs here. I'm not interested in uh, uh, merchandise, though. Okay, I am. Okay. Well, you know, go peddle your pinkies somewhere else. But cause... I, what I'm at, what I was asking for, if there, if there was a time or a place where perhaps uh, we could discuss uh, if you were willing to to make a donation to our orphanage. To your orphanage? Question: You got any ghoul children? We do from time to well. Hmm. Are ghoul children a thing? I don't think they're. Yeah, I, I mean, there there, there is one in Fallout Four. Is there? Yeah, is there? Yeah. Mm. I thought there was one in Fallout Three too. Might have been. I just remember one. Do they age? They don't. That's kind of the there thing. There was a kid, I think. That sucks. In Fallout yeah. Four, I think they pulled the the kid was hiding they're, in an in yeah. The they're kind of they're thing. kind of like weird vampire stand-ins, but not. We don't have any uh, currently, but we certainly wouldn't turn any away. Were we able to find, were, were one of them were to, to find its way, though I haven't ever really seen any because of the strong bonds within uh, the community uh, at uh, Misslefest Park. Right, Misslefest. Uh, yeah, most of my donations go to the Misslefest charities that uh, do exist. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you know about them. I'm, I'm maybe maybe I'm just a little bit more uh, charitable than you if you don't know who they are. Um, 
The shade. I feel. I feel like every time he opens his mouth, if this were the video game, uh, you'd see Sister yeah. Tuscadero will remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Lost karma. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you, you're. I mean, you're welcome. I mean, it's it's not my bar, but you're welcome to ask people. You might have to answer to Raina if you start bothering well, people. That's, that's why I, I came to, to, to you, sir, since you are sort of central to the, the experience and you're, and you're the one who's also handling caps. I didn't want to go around and, and ask for, for, for small donations from everybody. Okay, so you want me to make an announcement? Well, if you think that would help, but I, would, I, was, I was simply asking if you would be interested in uh, helping the... Helping the orphans. Uh, well, okay. Well, how how much are you looking for? Well, I'm any sort of donation is is useful. I'm not going to. I, I'm not going to give you a, a a price. What price is there for? Oh no. Yeah, yeah. What price can you pay to to protect the 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 young children born in this terrible wasteland to teach them the uh, the the word of Cunningham. And suddenly, <sighs> you think you hear a dog bark outside. <laughs> and a shot. Well, uh, let's see. We got... Um, I mean, how, how do you feel uh, about our lord and the coolest savior ever, Arthur Fonzarelli? I'm a fan. <laughs> uh, I've, uh, you know, I saw the... Uh, Historical documents when they first aired. Um, have you have you, uh, have you come to Saint uh, to to Saint Arnold's recently? I have not. Um, I I uh, personally um, don't uh, know if I uh, believe in uh, Saint Arnold. I'm uh, on the fence. Well. Even if you are not necessarily a, a, a man of faith, I, I understand that. But I, I think that we both can agree that um, giving time and money to help those unfortunate children of, uh, that e exist in the wasteland need as much help as possible. If I may, Rob, even if you don't believe in St. Arnold, St. Arnold believes in you. <laughs> Oh, oh, she brought no. a prop kid? Oh. No. <laughs> no, I don't think she brought a prop kid. Uh, so let me ask you this. If I give you caps, what, what are you doing to help these kids? Well, we feed them. We protect them. We, we, we teach them skills, like how to survive, how to find water and, and, and food. When they grow up, do they get to leave? Yes. Okay. Can I ask you a question as Tony? Yeah. Is, uh, the, are they malicious yeah. in any way or, or do, are they known to be? So that, it's, it's, in, they, I, I think the general consensus yeah. is that they are like Goofy mostly what? harmless loonies. Okay. Um, they, uh. But, you know, people get uncomfortable with, you know, religion and they do like they do incorporate that element into everything that they do. So it's very hard. Can I point out that it's telling that they came to you and not the bar owner? Well, I do have the microphone. Yeah, but I'd kick them out is what I'm saying, <laughs> probably. Okay. They're harassing people. All right. Here's <laughs> what I'll do, sister. Um, can I get you a drink? Um, if you have some, some water, I'll even take some dirty water if you have it. Okay, sure. Hey, Rainer. You know what? I'm gonna treat you right. Uh, can you grab this house special? Um, I believe it's called, uh, Peanuts Punch? You, uh, you evil motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're looking for Peanuts Punch? Yeah, the sister here wants a drink. Ugh, oh, Jesus. Uh, 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 mm, uh, mm. Uh, mm. 
I'm having a... Mm. It seems like she won't serve you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it, it's all right. I, if, if that's the case, then I will go elsewhere. I just have heard that uh, many, how many people view this as an important part of the community here, and I was hoping that we could find some help. The reason people do, in fact, stick around here, sister, is uh, because we don't indoctrinate them with ridiculous notions from a television series, you see. Um, so if you could, in fact, just, like, move right the fuck along. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was alive before the war. That shit's real. Kirk, shut your... I was going to say your lips, but they're not there anymore. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk, and Kirk's like, oh, shit, did they fall off again? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let me make an announcement. Hey, everyone, don't move. I got to look for my lips. <laughs> look, uh, sister, I will donate five camps out of my personal st- Stop. Not not tonight's take. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. But uh, <laughs> I mean, come on. But uh, and then I'll make a nice announcement. How's that? Are you announcing for people in my bar to donate to the Church of the Looney Bin if they want to? People can do what they choose. They can do what they choose to without you announcing it. Please, though. Miss Mister the Soda Jerk. <laughs> I appreciate the gift that you gave me, but it, it, Raina is, is clearly uncomfortable with my presence here, so I will make myself scarce after. You know, and some you don't you don't have to make an announcement. I appreciate the help that you were willing to give me. Some some people are just unkind, I guess. You, you know? could just go talk to Shotzi. He likes supporting whatever it is you do over there. No, Baron Shotzi. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Well, that's shocking. No, he has... He does not believe in in the, in the happy days. And when we have tried uh, to uh, speak to him uh, or to even minister to his employees, our missionaries, uh, they have been told to sit on it. That is a very deep cut, by the way. <laughs> all, all, all of the all of the people at the table are like, "What?" And Brad laughed, and that's all that matters. Wait, what was the deep cut? Uh, sit on it, because sit on it, Potsy. It was yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, well, that's the thing. We don't like him either. Um, he's kind yeah, of. I never the... thought I'd have anything in common with him. So he's kind of are. in the business of uh, bad days around here. You know, Sunday, Monday, bad days. <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday. Really bad days. Really bad days. Thursday, Friday. Worst days. Worst days. What a, what a day. What a day. <clears throat> Grooving all week with the sports ball. With the sports ball. Would you like a thumb, though? <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. If, 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 uh, I will take your, your donation and, and I will go. And I appreciate what you were willing to give me. Thank you. You are welcome. Some people are just not uh, as kind as me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, mm-hmm. Saint the Soda Jerk is what they call this guy. <laughs> Saint Kirk the Soda Jerk. Mm-hmm. Um, they've written about me in, in scrolls. Did they? Yeah. So, it was wh- on toilet paper. What I want you and Rainer to do is to make uh, speech rolls, and this is an opposed roll between <laughs> the two of you to see who has done better in sales during the first part of the game. Now, clearly you do not are not going to spend... Uh, I'm using luck. It's, <laughs> luck. it's an opposed charisma roll? It's a opposed charisma. Um, I'm using one luck, and I'm using my um, smooth talker, which allows me to re-roll a d20. So I'm only using Did one Did you do that luck. with this scene? No, right. I used my um, formal hat slash clothing okay. last time. So now I'm using my smooth talker to re-roll <laughs> with different dice, because that was just <laughs> awful. So I got a four and a two. Yeah. Well, that just means you... Son of a fuck nugget! Um, well, I got one success. Did you get any 20s? No. Okay. So you got one success. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is your speech skill? My speech skill uh, 
is tagged, and it is four. So that means that you got one, two, three, four successes compared to your one success. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, people have been buying the crap out of merchandise and drink sales have kind of dried up. All hail Cunningham. (laughs) Kirk, you're going to find yourself looking for another bar, and spoiler warning, there are none. So... There's also uh, no radio stations around here, so good luck with that. Uh, so since you won, um, you get to choose how many of those are AP and how many of those are uh, caps rolls. There's four? Uh, you got four, she got one, that leaves three. Okay. Um, I'll do one AP and two greed. Okay. <laughs> so... Also, I feel like if you maybe give her a cut here, that will, you know, <laughs> mollify her a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I got a nine and an eight. Uh, so you made about 17 caps. 17, in addition to my 16. Minus the five you gave Sister uh, No, that was Teradora my personal. Over there. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't taken it out of the, the, the <laughs> register yet. Calamity, Keith, the, and um, Zachary arrive. And Charlie. And Charlie. So we open the door. Mm-hmm. So you see, I was saying, then you can Chicago. Oh, for the love of three! <laughs> the rule of threes. <laughs> <laughs> nope, didn't work. Nice try, though. Charlie growls at you. <laughs> Thank you. And then he climbs up on his stool. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You're on my dog's stool. Oh, sorry. Terribly sorry. And he... Thank, thank. Oh, thank you so much. We made Charlie, sure have a... hey, well, I think, buddy. I, I think there, there scritch, are enough scritch, regulars scritch, here scritch, that scritch, actually, scritch. you know what? Uh, I think when he walks in, everyone is like, Charlie! <laughs> 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 oh, it's so good. I pour a bowl of water, put it on the bar in front of his spot. It's keeping your seat warm for you, Charlie. Here yeah. you go. Yeah. You ever see that that f- footage of like the crowd cheering for like the parade and the dog walks down and the dog sits for him? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah, basically yeah. what it is. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Oh my gosh, yeah. there's plenty of videos of that stuff. <laughs> I love um, that. So where are you taking Monk? Are you like put stashing him in a booth? Are you like asking Rainer to like hide him in the back? Like what? Are you... I think it's gonna be hide him in the back. Okay, Do well, I know what's going on in advance not. of this? Okay. <laughs> so I finished putting Charlie's bowl of water in front of Charlie, and I, like, turned Well, I don't know. You tell went. me. It, you figure out if you're... If this is um, already can I use your back room for a bit? You trying to have, like, a tryst? Or, like, what's... It? Yeah, I mean, you know what? I don't want to know. Sure. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. It locks, right? Yep. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and I walk off with him. Okay. Keith, what, uh, what was that all about there with the, you know what? You know what? Never mind. I, uh, I don't think I want to know. Okay. Then I won't tell you. Uh, Eugenia <laughs> over there, though, um, she does have a question for you. Hey, Eugenia, are you ready for drink number six yet? <laughs> Let's make it a water. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Aww. Mysterious cute man laughed. Was he cute? Is that what we would call it? Well, I thought, well, he was mysterious. He was certainly mysterious. Okay. Well, and, and she, she like, she like puts your, your, her hand on one of your robot arms, like a, you know, girlfriend, like, what's he like? What's who like? The, the, the hooded man, the, the mystery man. Oh, I, I, I've seen you talk to him before. Are you saying we all look alike? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen him talking to a different Mr. Handy. Damn, that's cold. I, what, what? No, no, no. You you, you and him I, on, on the roof. On the roof. On the roof. The roof is on fire. <laughs> you know the we one where you grow water. your hops and the wheat and the barley? So go ahead and give me a speech roll here. And your target is going to be two because you're trying to you're trying to gaslight her here a little bit. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> what is your gaslighting skill? I got one. Do I want to spend luck to try to? Well, you can spend luck, or do you want to succeed at a cost here? 
<laughs> but succeed at a cost. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. It's never a good thing when it's even. I think it's a great thing. <laughs> so. Is, so I think the cost here, let's see, what is the cost here? That I have to put on a, a bow every time I go on the roof now? <laughs> to pretend to be a different Mr. mustache. Handy. Yep. <laughs> Just imagine, gotta go, and he like drops his arm like there's a lizard tail. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, so I think that the complication is Eugenia now has like, like it, she definitely has a crush on the mysterious stranger and Great. it's not going to uh. be like, like you, you, you've fended her off for tonight, but now you've got to like, now you've got to do some work to, to repair her relationship with Ralph because now she's like. Or end her relationship with Ralph. Oh, boy. No, but... <laughs> I mean... Murder Hobo Squad attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, meanwhile... So, we cut back... <sighs> we cut to the back room. Um... I, and, 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 and Monk is, is like, I, I wasn't... An explosion? That wasn't part of the plan? You didn't say it wasn't part of the plan. I thought you were just going to, to deal with the the barley guard. Well, we dealt with him, didn't we? Well, but an explosion, that's like... I figured I would have a longer period of time to get away from uh, the brewery. But if, if something blew up, they're probably going to send more guards. If it blew up, and there's a bunch of rubble over the guards, they're going to assume you didn't make it because you're just a little scientist. Well, I hope you're right. Unless you're valuable enough for them to want to go through all of that rubble and have them accidentally possibly find more explosives and accidentally cause a completely terrible collapse of the entire bramble. He offers a very guilty smile. You didn't fucking tell me that you were that important. It, it wasn't going to matter. Because you were gonna Chicago. I mean, I think it's actually a pretty nice term. I'm, I, just a I'm, I'm starting to catch on with me too. I, 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 I hate it, it like, but it's, it just kind of works. No, it, yeah, hmm. it's... It's like it's like how you drink when you drink something and like it tastes terrible at yeah. first, but like but three or four drinks in, yeah, 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 you're like, boom, this is the best thing I've ever had. <sighs> like Malort. I was just gonna say Malort. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you use getting that sponsorship? <laughs> I guess Not me. Probably yeah. Yeah. Tony still work at Culver's. Yeah, so. I, I have the trophies. So. <laughs> That's because I'm not allowed to compete. <laughs> um, you can compete if you want. Do you want to give me a oh, speech roll here? Go. Oh, that, why you gotta make me do stuff I'm not good at? Well, because if you want to know why he's so important, you're gonna have to to tell him. Ooh. Oh my god. Damn, son. I uh -huh. actually, considering my charisma is five, and I got a four and a one. Oh. Right. I'm awesome. All right, so you got three successes there. So yeah, you've got three questions you can ask here uh, because you've got three successes. How important are you? I'm the head of the special research division at uh, Shotzi's Brewery. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. It is a twist, then. <sighs> and I know why he's been soaking up all the water in the city. Two more left. Why has he been soaking up all the water in the city? Well, he, he's trying to crack the formula for Nuka Cola, and he wants to corner the market uh -huh. and produce the first new the first new Nuka Cola in two hundred years. New Nuka Cola, if you will. Oh. Copyright it. Like, <laughs> and you with the umlaut over it too. So, yeah. Welcome to because, as we all know, you know, New Coke did so well. <laughs> Crystal Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> 
every generation has a, has a soft drink that <laughs> mm. Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I like Baja Blast, soft though drink. it is kind of a margarita in search of a tequila. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, I mean, I think that's why it's okay. I like Code Red. Uh, gamer fuel for the win, hands down. Anxiety inducing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. That shit will send me into a coma. Really? <laughs> yeah. Damn, oh, dude. I will never give it to you, I promise. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Here, so... Tony, close your eyes and drink this. <laughs> no. No, um... The only drink I'll sacrifice my brain for is Surge. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate Surge. Okay, so Wait. he wants to corner the market on Nuka Cola. And he's soaking up all of the water in the city for it. How long do we have before they send out a search party? Well, uh, judging by that really big explosion, they've probably got people coming for me right now. <sighs> What's the rendezvous time? Sunrise. What time is it now? Yeah, it's probably like... Mid to late early morning. Yeah. <laughs> like between like midnight and two. If the if the, the the Brotherhood guy gets here basically like right at closing time. Okay. Well and since, that's called for alcohol. And and since and since like I feel like the post apocalypse doesn't have very strict like it's two when we AM run liquor out of laws. Beer. It's, yeah, it, it well <laughs> it's you run out of booze or the sun comes up, whichever comes first. Yep. Is it summer? <laughs> um you basically you've got a you've got a couple of hours to sit on him literally and figuratively rainer do you have any well, oh I, am i am i in there no you gotta you, no because it's the two of you remember because you locked it i did yeah. right i opened the door rainer <laughs> come here ah, no you need anything i guess would you like it? here okay no what Remember, thumbs are on sale. Oh my God. <laughs> He's outselling me, okay? He's outselling me with foam thumbs, I ask you. It lasts longer than a beer. Okay, but like... And you only really... But, I was going to say, you only buy one, though, whereas you buy like two or three beers. <laughs> Fair enough. It just... It's a lot right now, is all I'm saying. I can imagine <laughs> that it is a very stressful situation <laughs> for you, out having... Then you've got Eugenia over here, and she wants to, like, boink the weird dude in the hood over in the corner, who apparently has been having secret meetings with Keith on my roof. Wow. <laughs> I cannot imagine the massive amount of stress. No, that I have mustache Keith. Right <laughs> that is awful, mm -hmm. Rainer. Mm -hmm. Do you like have a, a hidden compartment somewhere in the floor that I can hide this dude? Why can't I hide back here? Isn't it? There's a lock, right? Shut up! Who are you? Uh, Daddy, no. I, I, Your name is no. It's Randy Monk. Randy Monk. You fucking... you fucking... Do I know him from... So, um, I think an intelligence Dice plus down. science role. They will be the same. Okay, um... Yeah, give me a roll. Oh, I rolled a one! Okay. The That's... other one is an eight, but fails anyhow. Okay, so you have two questions you can ask about this guy. Did you ask your third question? You did, right? Yeah. Okay. Because um, any unasked questions you can bank as... Do I you... recognize him from... I guess we never quite, like, filled out whatever my relationship with Shotzi was, but whatever that was? Um, I think you, at the very least, recognize his, like, science gear. Okay. like that, that, Like, he's wearing kind of the... Like I imagine that the that the that the Shotzi lab coat is a little like Sergeant Peppered up a little bit. Okay. Like it's not just nice. like a, like a clean white coat. Like it's yeah. got kind of the bras and maybe like a you know like Buttons. a Opala thing or epaulets. Um, a Nehru collar, yeah. And so you know that he is he is a he. Judging by his coat, he is definitely a a, a high ranking brewer for Shotzi. In how much danger are we from his presence? If you give him back, none. Mm -hmm. If you don't, mm -hmm. well, you probably wish that a peanut was here right okay. <laughs> tonight. 
But she had to go off and fight in her. She had to go to to Putterdare Island. And okay. <laughs> okay. For her Putterdare tournament. Yeah. Tournament. You brought a Shotzi R and D guy into my bar on sports ball night. Why are we not broadcasting the arm pulling? <laughs> Couldn't get the rights. Okay. <laughs> it's on an island. Duh. It would cost you an arm. Oh! <laughs> oh! God damn it. Oh! We walked right into that Chicago. one. Chicago. No. <laughs> oh, I Chicago went. So. <laughs> yeah, you Chicago went there, yeah. He's Chicago gone. <laughs> I feel pretty good about that one. Uh, yeah. Pe- people who live um, in Chicago love that. They use it all the time. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> it's like how people in San Francisco always called Frisco. Yeah. Mm, absolutely. Nobody yes. ever yeah. does that. Mm-hmm. You brought a shot, the R and D guy, into my bar on sports ball night. Would it be better if I would have done it tomorrow? Uh, frankly, yes. Do you know how many people are out there? Yeah. But that's kind of. Um, actually, he raised. It. He's like, uh, that's actually kind of the point because we're in a public place, so that way you, they're not just going to murder everybody mm-hmm, mm-hmm, in the bar. Mm-hmm. Except like, that they might would. Uh, and part two of this, this. And he's got a foam thumb. <laughs> <laughs> part two of this uh, is there are a lot of people out there who could see you and go back and tell them. Well, that's why I'm just going to hang out here. Did he come through the front? Did he no. come through the? Did you come through the front? I came. I don't know what door is the front. It's all. It's all the same thing. Is there? Is there a side door? Is there a back door? Did you see him come in? Well, frankly, I was paying attention to Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else saw him because everybody was okay. paying attention to Charlie. Okay. All right. Charlie's the bestest boy ever. Um, okay, we've got the the vault, the vault where we keep the grain. Yeah. Um, we can sneak him over there. I'll go ask Kirk to make a nice big distraction. Maybe he can play Keith's song. Keith will get like a dance going, right? And like whatever. You're thinking that way too complicated. Is. Half off thumbs. And then we'll. He can't sell more thumbs. Meanwhile, I'm inside. done with the thumbs. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> but that's the, all I know of this That's song. it. That's the whole thing. That's, that's the bit. Okay, okay, okay. Just wait. Wait until you hear the shenanigan. And then you're going to take him over to the vault. You remember the sneaky yes, vault? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's unlocked right now. Just turn the turny thing to the left a yep. quarter turn yeah and then then you can get him in there yeah i'm gonna lock it mm-hmm. don't forget the code because he'll be stuck and then he'll die in there forever how about so i go in with him because he needs to be protected in case someone violates that vault. Okay. No one's violated the vault before. No one's brought the head of oh, fucking yeah, R and D research into your bar before. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's the head of R and D. Well, keep your fucking voice not, down. Uh, this not head. I mean that. You know, they he gets paid well. That's one of the reasons I'm leaving. I'll deal with you later. Ba ba ba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ba ba ba. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you are you you're heading out. To yeah, the... and I'm gonna ask him to make a distraction of some sort. Well, the good news is is that he doesn't have to. Oh, good. They're here already. Oh no. But the uh, but there are uh, 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 a band of bonzer uh, bronzers and a band of fonzers that are getting very shouty and rowdy. Uh oh. I pop my head back in and I go, no, no, no. All right. And then I egg them on for a little bit. Okay. Give me uh, a speech roll. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, can I um, take like a, some sort of 
tablecloth or something and throw it over him and to move him. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's a ghost scientist. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go ahead. Um, if you want to spend a point of luck, you can certainly do that. Okay. So. I know exactly what I'm saying. Okay. I'm doing a fake ghoul voice and I'm saying, Billy told me that the bronze is a bunch of assholes. Wow. That's, oh that's wow. I got one success. Your, cool voice. your your ghoul voice is clearly at the got bottom it. of your bag of ass. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you your rumpled and smelly. Tawny, your <laughs> skills <laughs> of like improvisation <laughs> are so stunningly amazing. <laughs> Will it work with a single success? Yep. Okay, good. That's it a, worked. That's enough to set off the bar brawl. <laughs> Great. You I call that a brawl. bronze? It looks like somebody just rubbed shit all over your face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a brawl here, just like the great sports movie Rocky. <laughs> you've been waiting. From the been back, you hear not a sports movie. I've been waiting for that all night, Ooh, have you? Yeah. I, I am proud of you. <laughs> all right. So here's how the brawl is going to work. Oh, God. Everything's broken. We need new tables. Uh, As I'm a just gonna, side note, do you need me to do a sneak roll? Um, not yet. Okay. I am a bronzer fan because bronze is metal. <laughs> I'm a Fonzie, Fonzer person. I don't give a fuck as Hence long as the they thumbs. buy beer. Mm. So uh, while the brawl is going on, uh, I'm going to roll uh, eight combat dice to represent uh, the the brawlers. Any effects that I roll will add additional dice to the the the, the brawl check. Um, any uh, hits that I roll are going to be general damage that must be soaked up by you guys. Great. Um, to uh, to get what's going to happen to get rid of these dice is you tell me what you're doing to calm down the the the, the brawl. And every success that you get will remove one of these dice from the pool. Then after everybody has had a, a, um, a, a turn, we'll roll again. And that will, uh, you know, that will see how things go. So the, the initial roll starts now. I have an idea. All right. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six points of, of damage to split. Um, and three more people join in the fight. Um, well, so if you if, if there are points of damage that you don't want to take, um, you can instead choose to have a complication arise, or rather, you know what? Not damage. Uh, if if you don't want to add more people, more people, you can choose those to be complications. What kind of complications? Oh, uh, the like, worst kind, of course. Like broken window, <sighs> um, smashed jukebox, <sighs> yeah, um, crushed giant thumb. <laughs> <laughs> you know those sorts of complications. Um. Or you could ha take, you know, uh, uh, ruined fancy hat. Oh. <gasps> Gasp. So, uh, six points of damage and uh, three either so and three complications. I will soak two damage. Okay. You say we can roll to counter these? So, we're, we're, you're figuring out how to, to lay out the, the, the damage first. Um, and then... We're gonna go. It's kind of like a like an extended skill, okay. a skill test um, that I'm totally hacking right here on air live. Um, before we, so you're taking two. Let me roll to see where uh, oh, boy. they actually hit you. And these are all physical damage. Yes. So in the brawl, you're actually gonna take one to the left leg and one to the right. <laughs> well, I have armor on my right leg, but not on my left leg. So you'll, you're only gonna take one. Because your armor and your right leg soaks. Uh, the soaks defensive up. one, does that do anything? No, not okay. not in this case. Okay. This is to represent just a wild, like, you know. I will take four. Mm. No. Because I am in that shit. 
Okay. You are in that shit. <laughs> okay. Um, is anybody, are, what are you doing for complications? Because that soaked up all the damage. Um, are you armored? I'm armored too everywhere. Oh, okay. Because I am metal. So. Which is why I said four. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually going to spend then... two of the complications uh, to make them uh, piercing. So you'll Ow. take two actual okay. damage. That, so that's one complication left. If any, <sighs> So you can either choose to add more uh, brawlers or it, smash up your bar. I have an idea. I have an idea. <clears throat> I don't like the way that sounds. No, no, no. It's great. <laughs> the, the, the bar, like, stops when somebody, like, knocks over Charlie's bowl and it breaks. <gasps> That's pretty good. No, bro Charlie's broken bowl? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that would stop everybody dead. Because all they would have to see is Charlie being adorable and being like, well, that, I don't think it's going to. St that's going to be a complication. I don't okay. think that that's going to be. Okay. Like that's not going to stop it. Oh, but I'm. I'm Charlie's. We'll hold on to that one. I was, I was hoping I could be like, ladies and gentlemen, someone here has to die. <laughs> <laughs> Burn the witch. You know. <laughs> she so, turned me into a newt. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so we'll just. If you don't have any complications, we'll just add a brawler. Okay. So we've got nine brawlers right now. Uh huh. That's a lot. Um, so everybody can take an action, except for you, Sarah, because you're sneaking. Yes. Uh, so go ahead and why don't, you, why don't we start with you and you make that sneak roll. I've got the best initiative anyway. Sneaky sneakerson. Okay, so, so that's two. Okay. Um, uh, so yeah, you get, um, you get Monk over to the, to the, the, like the granary and the still, I'm assuming. I am going to point out that this is a actual location in Wizard Works. They have, it used to be an old bank, and they have the old bank vault still in oh, there. And nice. they store their grain in there. And we were over there really drinking one night. Hinges. And it I has found really it. loud hinges. And we snuck over to it to like peek in because it didn't say employees only. Right. And yeah. Jenny so, was there too. So right. So, like, so, um, well, I was going to say, if Jenny. We seem like I yelled at, and they got a tour. Well, Chris kind of yelled at us, and then Jenny was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then she gave us a tour. So so he's kind of like, well, I'm actually, imp I'm pretty impressed. This is a nice setup that you guys have here. I mean, I could improve it if you wanted me, if you if you think that would. That would be great. Okay. Well, he, he like takes off his, his uh, lab coat and like rolls up his sleeves. Here for this content. <laughs> for this content. You're like, oh, no, no, it's fine now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is me paying you back for bringing this guy into your bar in the okay, first place. Okay. Okay. All right. So who's going to take the first crack at the... Um... I would like to dump over the bucket of um, foam fingers and yell, Free thumbs! <gasps> <laughs> okay. Uh, so is that going to be... That's going to be a barter... Uh, barter? Yeah. Barter. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this might rude. just be me, but I imagine like the foam they're made of, if they get wet, they just disintegrate or like something. <laughs> You're right. One success. Um, okay. Oh, damn. I'm going to use a luck to re-roll that. You've also got a uh, AP, too. What the fuck? I rolled the same number. It was meant to be. Most people already got their phone. On a different phone. die. <laughs> Do you want to borrow mine? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll uh, just curse them. Okay, who's next? I have I mean, they two options. Anyway. Option one is to start buzzsawing. Option two is to use my repair skill to try to have all the radios in the building give a loud, annoying noise. Which do you want to use? I feel like I feel like you, you're in a your your murder bot mode has been activated tonight. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna turn on my bus saw, just start spinning around, just yelling, everyone, <laughs> you know, get oh. down on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so use your. Uh, so what do you use for your buzzsaw? That's a this melee is a weapon. Stick yeah. up. You should get but on I'm the ground. I'm gonna spend one luck <laughs> to use luck instead of strength. Okay. Are you gonna buy any? How many we got in there? We have four in here right now, which means that you could mm. buy two dice for three. I'll buy just one. 
Everyone's being very economical tonight. We're worried. <laughs> I'm worried something big is going to happen. <coughs> the barley guard. <laughs> No! <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> because you're evil, Ethan, horrible. what the shit? I got two successes. Okay. Wow. So I think you you you, you kind of spin around and are like, it's your own fault yep. if you lose an arm. <laughs> um... And uh, you, you definitely saw, like, you know, one guy was, like, using, like, a stool, and you're like, and he's kind of like, oh, <laughs> I lost my stool. Uh, Tony, what are you doing? Uh, so what am I looking at currently? It's it's a big... Bar brawl. Bar yeah, brawl with it, me spinning in the middle of it. Yeah. It's a big bar brawl between the, the between some of the bronzers, between various fans of the, the bronzers and the followers. One of your buckets of thumbs got knocked over. <laughs> By some accidentally. Strange... Someone accidentally. Ooh, that mysterious uh-huh. stranger that you just yeah. saw. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. him over there. You're going to start blaming him like the, like not me from the family <laughs> circus. Is there any way that I could do like the old, um, I don't know if it's an old West thing, but the thing where you fire a gun in there and that freaks everybody out? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll try to do that. So give me a small guns roll. Okay. Whee! Did not do it. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. You can spend that look. You can spend some luck to re-roll. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting that's a thing. <laughs> Ethan, that's kind of such a just character build, so he will, <laughs> yeah. he will be your <laughs> right. your luck clippy. That will be like... So, do you need some help? So two luck for two dice? Yep. yep. Okay. Right, here we go. There we go. One and a three. Nice. Are those both under? Yeah, my uh, small that... guns is four and it's tagged. It is. Nice. So that's three successes. Four, four successes. successes. Oh, you're right. Four successes. Yeah. Sure enough. Bang. And everyone is like, <gasps> as and like like they stop. And then you just see Keith still spinning in the background. <laughs> Listen, everybody, this is a nice, clean family event. <laughs> so sit down, shut the fuck up, and enjoy the game. Bronzers! Bronzers! Yeah. Bronzers! <laughs> okay, let's see what, uh, what the two remaining riled folks do. Oh. So, three hit points and a complication. To me? Well, it, it, it it's whoever you want to... Yeah. And we just need to decide I will take to spread the hit. And we just need to spread it out. Okay. Because um, I feel as if you're still behind the bar. Well, I, I'm in my little booth. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes more sense for... And that also forces me to spend... Uh, the complication to actually do damage to him because otherwise it'll just bounce. Gotcha. Bounce. 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 bounce chicka. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, I was having way too much fun with that. So actually, let's let's kick this over to you. When you return, what do you do? Like the, there, there is a, a tense pause as like the two remaining, uh, like you know, there's one there's one bronzer fan, one Fonzer fan that are still like you know kind of ready to to hit. Oh, they're ready to hit? Yeah. You ever seen that video of the guys trying to stop the polisher that is on its own? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. it's amazing. I was going to say, um, I feel like this is, I feel like there's some Roomba fail videos yeah. that um, you can watch for motivation. I throw a my cards lemonade at them. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll I'm actually come man. out, and if there's only two of them, <clears throat> I will raise my sniper rifle. Feeling lucky, punks! <laughs> Okay, roll uh, your charisma and your small or your small arms. Yes. Okay. That's much better. Those are two lucky number thirteen. Two thirteens. Ah. Um, and that is, let's see, uh, five and five. That's more than that. So what um, uh, how do kind of luck that? you got rolling on? How much? Uh, we're going to roll. Uh, we're going to do luck. Yes. That's better. That one wins. Um, can I spend another one to? Re- yeah, you can. You can okay. luck uh, every dice once. Yes. Luck that yes! shit. Yes. Luck that mm-hmm. shit. So that that is two successes. Yep. And that's enough to clear the remaining two brawlers. 
As and like, I go directly back to the yeah. moment, so they're done. <laughs> they're like, uh, no, sorry, 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 Calamity, sorry, sorry. Buy just... yourself some thumbs. Go pet Charlie. Are they still free? They are not! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it kind of worked, though, didn't it? Oh, and I'll, I'll call Charlie. I have a Charlie. gun. I don't know who knocked those over, but it kind of worked, though. I know it was you, Fredo. Do you? <laughs> yeah, but I saw him. I saw him do it. I'm gonna ah, go. I did not! Why does everybody <laughs> always... It, it's the one ghoul in the bar. <laughs> I did not! Why does everybody... Fredo, I, 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 just stop I, fighting it. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna go into Gilbert Gottfried here, so I apologize. <laughs> every every Fredo, time Fredo, something Fredo, happens Fredo. on a sports ball night, they, you blame me. Fredo, just go with it, and I slide him a free shot. It's not the. F he takes it. <laughs> it's my lord. Um, <laughs> that's okay. My my tongue that hasn't worked in like fifty years. <laughs> Rob, I'm gonna go directly back to the tank with Charlie, okay? And because I'm gonna make sure this guy is safe. As you as you go back out into the street. You see a uh, barley guard vehicle. Well, I'm not going to the street. I'm going to the. the I know, but you you see the barley guard vehicle on the street. Fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck, fuck. And that is where we'll take our Gah! next act break. Join us next week for the rousing finale <laughs> to our third Fallout tale. <laughs> we'll see you then. I don't like you. Congratulations, fellow human! You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players. If you enjoyed our story, please like the video. If you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there.